Uh, welcome back guys. Today I thought I would review with you how I installed Peppermint OS 6 onto my Acer C720 Chromebook. Now original uh, ISO that I downloaded from the Peppermint OS website uh, did install fine um, but I, f I have found that most Linux distributions will run better out of the box um, on a Chromebook if it has a kernel of 3.18 or later. So since I was able to find instructions on the Peppermint OS Linux website for installing the 3.19 kernel, then I thought I'd go ahead and do that and then I'm going to go through that with you and then what we will do is we'll um, we'll do the kernel upgrade and then we'll take a look at what we have what works what doesn't and then we'll uh, we'll proceed from there so the first thing we're going to do is uh, go walk through the the install. Now I downloaded the ISO from the Peppermint Linux website and you can find that online. Now you will find if you go to the forum so search on Peppermint OS 6 forum. Uh, it'll bring up a direct link in Google. If you click on that and then go to uh, user submitted tutorials, you will find that I have a, a tutorial listed there for installing Peppermint OS 6 to your Acer C720 Chromebook. And it is um, pretty comprehensive. Um, if you go through it, it will explain in detail what I did to install Peppermint OS 6 uh, and if you have any questions you can post them in the comments section of this video and I'll try to help you uh, if I can. So without reviewing all of this information I'm going to minimize that page and I'm gonna go through a few steps with you. Now as I said, if you download the appropriate uh, ISO, which in, for, for a C720, it is the 64-bit. Uh, I installed the 64-bit and it went well. So if you download the 64-bit um, Peppermint OS 6, uh, and then burn that to a C, uh, to a USB. Now you can use the instructions that I put in a prior video for using the DD command. I did that and it worked absolutely fantastic. So that's what I would use. Use that DD command to burn your USB stick and then pop it into your Chromebook. Now assuming that you've, you've already um, you've already uh, initiated the uh, CBIOS, S-E-A-B-I-O-S. Assuming you've already done that to your Chromebook, when you turn it on with the USB stick inserted into the USB slot, you'll see uh, a, a, a message that says press escape for a boot menu. So if you press escape, it's going to bring up either the choice to boot from your hard drive or your USB stick. So you're going to select your USB stick and then it's going to put you at the uh, Peppermint OS 6 install screen. At that point you do not want to install. You don't want to click on install. You want to press the tab key. When you press the tab key it will bring up a boot uh, command 
and it, it, it'll be at the bottom of the screen and it looks like a uh, terminal command and it'll be your boot command and there'll be two dashes at the end of it now some people say there are three I've only seen two but if you see two or three dashes at the end of that boot command what you're gonna do is you're gonna press the space bar so you need to add a space and then you'll type in all lowercase M E M equal sign uh, 1590 M well, that's all lowercase and let me see if I can type that out for you okay so at the end of the command you're gonna see two dashes just like that then you're going to add a space type mem equals 1590m okay so, and then you're going to hit enter now let's go through that again at the end of the boot command line when you press the tab key at the peppermint OS 6 install screen you're going to see that boot command it'll it'll have the cursor blinking at the end of the two dashes as I said you're going to add a space type mem equals 1590m all lowercase and then you're going to hit enter okay once you hit enter it's going to boot into the install process now what that's doing is when you first boot off the USB Peppermint 6 doesn't know how much memory you have so we're going to lie a little and tell it that you have uh, basically one and a half gigs that's the number that works all the time we're gonna fix that later but that will work to get you through the install so when you hit enter after 1590m it's going to bring you to the install process it will be like any other Ubuntu based distribution install um, in my case I already uh, already had an Ubuntu install so I elected to install Peppermint 6 alongside my existing install and that went fine so now I'm dual booting Ubuntu 1504 and Peppermint OS 6 so you'll go through the entire install procedure and then once you finish of course you'll need to reboot okay so that gets you to your fresh install once you reboot after the install basically you'll be sitting looking at this screen and now I've added a few programs to be able to make this video because I am what you're looking at here is my Acer C720 Chromebook so I added um, cheese for this camera and I added Kazam for the screen casting I added mouse pad and leaf pad uh, leaf pad for what we're going to do next so now once you boot in what I'd like you to do is the first thing is you're going to in the lower right you're gonna see that this system your system will require an update so that's the first thing I did I updated the install that's the first thing you wanna do update your install okay once that install is done then you're gonna go to step two well actually let's let's do let's do step let's do I'm, I'm gonna switch the sequence so on step two what you're going to do once you've already updated you're gonna go to the uh, peppermint os6 website 
and let's see we're gonna go to the forum home page now it's gonna have all the various categories uh, what I'd like you to do is go to general discussion I believe what I want is in general discussion yes so go to general discussion and then go to this topic bumping up from the 316 kernel to the 319 okay click on that and what I'd like you to do is on page one there are three pages but on page one scroll down until you see this post by the administrator PC NetSpec great guy you're going to see this post the full command should have been I want you to copy this entire command now make sure you get it all you're gonna have to scroll to the right make sure you get it all you're gonna copy and then you're gonna paste that into a terminal So you're going to copy and paste it into a terminal. As you can see, it's very long. And then you're going to hit enter. Now, I'm not going to hit enter because I've already done this. But this will upgrade your kernel from 316 to 319. This gives your Chromebook install a better chance of having everything working properly out of the box. Okay, so I want you to uh, do that as step two. Okay, now for step three, you're going to have to go back in and tell Peppermint OS 6 how much RAM you really have. Now, originally, when I had you configure it for 1590, that's basically 1 1.6 gigs of RAM. That may not be what you have. You probably have either 2 gig or 4 gig. Now, what you're going to do is, and I recommend using LeafPad, okay? So, install LeafPad, sudo apt-get install LeafPad. and you can see that I installed it uh, already and I also went through the uh, command to uh, reconfigure my RAM. Now once you install LeafPad and you have it in your list of applications go to your terminal and type GK sudo LeafPad just like I have here. Now once you do that and you press enter it's gonna ask you for your password. Once you enter your password it's going to bring up LeafPad. Okay. So here's what I want you to do. And now remember you're running this as root so you want to be extremely careful. You're gonna click on file, open, file system boot grub grub config now I've already modified my grub config but what I'd like you to do you're gonna click on search and then find then you're gonna type in mem equals and then click find it's going to find every instance of that original command that you entered to be able to boot properly. So when you entered MEM equals 1590M, when you click find, I've already taken all of mine out. And that's why it says not found. But you're going to find several instances of MEM equals 1590M. 
you need to remove every one of them and just don't remove anything but that text so you want to make sure that you're just removing what what you entered before what and there are about five or six entries every time you delete one go back up hit search and find next keep doing that until it can't find any more once it can't find any more instances beginning with mem equals you're going to click file and save the file okay so once you save that grub config file you will reboot and your system will automatically determine how much memory you have and it will reconfigure now as you can see I installed a program called hard info so if you type in sudo apt get install hard info h a r d i n f o all one word it'll it'll install this program called system profiler and benchmark if you click on that after you update your config file okay so you can see that i have memory listed of just about 4 gigs of ram so um, that's exactly what it should be uh, everything seems to be running fine and what I'm going to do is I'm going to uh, reboot and what I'd like you to do is once you have gone through all of these steps go ahead and reboot and then you'll find that your RAM is uh, configured properly now be a good idea if you install this program which is hard info sudo apt-get install h-a-r-d-i-n-f-o and then, as I said, in your listing of your applications, it will be listed as System Profiler and Benchmark. It's a nice program. It has a lot of information, a lot of useful information. So, um, if you've gone, if you followed along up to this point, what you'll need to do is reboot. Now, I'm going to uh, reboot, and I will rejoin you in uh, in a minute. Um, and then we'll continue uh, talking about the Peppermint 6 install. So I'll be right back with you guys. Okay guys, so one, once you reboot, you should be back at this screen, the uh, desktop of Peppermint 6. This is the default desktop right out of the box. Now I haven't changed anything as far as appearance goes. As I mentioned, um, the the only things that not that are not working right now are the volume up and down keys although volume up and down down can be accessed through the normal channels um, the brightness up and down keys are not mapped properly so you cannot adjust brightness from your keyboard and the other thing I noticed that is not working is the internal microphone which is why I'm still wearing the headset but I am running off the internal camera the Chromebook camera so everything you're seeing on the screen is the Chromebook install so I'm going to do some research on the key mapping for the brightness and the volume and uh, see if I can find out what the issue with the microphone is in the meantime, I will be back. Uh, we'll do another video on configuring um, Peppermint OS 6 with your Acer Chromebook C720. And I'll show you how I typically configure um, distros when I install them, whether it be on a desktop or whether it's on a Chromebook. So I hope you're enjoying your Chromebook, Chromebook guys, and hopefully we'll have a little fun with this uh, with this series of videos. So uh, take care, guys. Uh, be sure to rate, comment, and subscribe, and I will uh, see you soon. Take care.